Hi everyone, it's Bridget Michelle with Remedy Bathhouse, and today we're going to make a body elixir formulation. In this elixir, part of the reason why I wanted to make it was because the facial elixir did so well, and it was time to make a body elixir. So we wanted lightweight oils, oils with skin-loving attributes. We used um, MCT oil, grapeseed oil, uh, hemp seed oil, sunflower oil, apricot oil, isopropyl meristate, rice bran oil, vitamin A, and vitamin E. So to start, um, what we want to do is, of course, sanitize everything. So we washed all the equipment in Clorox and the soapy solution and allowed them to dry, and then we wiped down all the equipment with alcohol. So with these ingredients, um, the first thing that I am putting in here is the MCT oil. And if you notice, it's a lightweight, um, completely clear oil. It contains lauric acid, and it's a common ingredient to treat skin diseases and conditions. It has antimicrobial properties. Um, it's great for acne-prone skin and irritation. So that was the first ingredient. Um, the second is sunflower oil, and it's a little thicker. Um, it has linoleic acid. And, it, likes, and it's, it penetrates the skin easily and helps to keep the skin very nourished and protected. Um, so that was that one. And next we're going to be putting in the apricot oil, apricot kernel, sorry, oil. And what that does is it um, facilitates faster healing of wounds and protects skin against toxins and bacteria. Those are the attributes of that oil. Um, it also helps to provide an even glow um, and helps to lighten unwanted blemishes and things. So I love, 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 love apricot oil. I had a friend um, who told me she was an Armenian and I lost her this last year and I was really upset by that. But um, this friend was Armenian and she said that once a year what they did in Armenia was they would take a, them to a plate, people annually to a place to get massages and to relax, to take heat baths, um, and they would eat, of course, very well and things, and part of what they would eat to help fight cancers is the inside of an apricot kernel or apricot seed, and inside looks like a little almond, and um, it's supposed to be a cancer fighter. So, The next ingredient is rice bran oil. And rice bran oil it was used for centuries in Japan. It's a clean, clean, uh, it's an ingredient that's used in toners, bathing powders. It helps to soothe, smooth, and help uh, to provide suppleness to skin. So it's nice and gentle, and it's extracted from the rice bran. Um, it's supposed to also reduce the signs of aging, soothe, hydrate, and protect. So. That is rice bran oil. So it's really a versatile oil, and I really, really, really love rice bran oil. Um, I've been using it a lot in my soaps and things. It's a really versatile oil. Um, the next thing was is grapeseed oil. And grapeseed oil um, can moisturize dull, dehydrated skin. It uh, also helps to even out skin tone. It's supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, high in vitamin E and linoleic acid as well. It helps to restore elasticity and things of that nature. So that was the next ingredient. So now we have coming up here, hemp oil, and that's that really green, green oil that's going in next. And this oil is supposed to help um, treat inflammation in skin conditions such as eczema and psoriasis, acne scarring, and it's supposed to help with really dry skin. Look at that color. That just infiltrates everything. So that is hemp oil, and I'm loving hemp oil right now. It's a really fast absorbing oil, um, and I just wanted to use it in um, this elixir because it just has really great properties. Um, and it's, you know, right now all the rage, for sure. So I'm just kind of showing you the green color and swishing that around together so you get to see that. 
So next ingredient is the vitamin E. And vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin. It acts as an antioxidant, not just for our skin. It acts as an antioxidant to the other oils that we put here in this elixir. And it helps protect scales, uh, skin cells from damage. And it's found in sebum, um, which is your skin oil. And it creates a natural barrier to keep moisture in your skin. So the very last ingredient that I'm going to be adding after I do a little swish swish, um, just mixing those oils together. Um, I want every oil incorporated. And right now, actually, isopropyl meristate is what I'm putting in. And all that isopropyl meristate is doing is it helps your skin absorb these oils. So I'm using a lot of plant oils. And what you'll find commercially on the market is that people don't use a lot of plant oils. And part of the reason why they don't is because it's hard to keep them on the shelf for a long period of time. So, you know, Revlon, they make five million units of something. Um, they're not going to use a lot of plant oils because it's going to stay on the shelf for a couple of years and things break down. I don't make five million units, so I make a lot less. And because I do, I, I want to use a lot of plant oils in my products. So lastly, we're adding the vitamin A. And um, vitamin A is great for improving the appearance of wrinkles. It's great for to help sagging skin, reducing hyperpigmentation, uh, reducing sun damage. And um, I tried to use the pipette there, but this oil is really thick. And so I had to change up how I was using it there. So I'm measuring it out. And there's some pretty strict guidelines on how much you can use. And you actually cannot use a lot of it. So, um, I was limited on how much vitamin A I could use in this formulation. So that vitamin A went in there. And again, I am i don't mass produce my products. I produce them on a small scale. So um, I'm able to use a lot of plant oils. And a lot of companies, like I said, they use esters and um, they use a lot of things in... Um, silicones and things to help uh, they take out the good properties of what's in these plant oils and they use them in their commercially made products and um, to make them more shelf stable so mine aren't as shelf stable they do degrade in heat they degrade in the sun and that's why um, I use the packaging that I use so here we fast forward it a little bit to the packaging after I did a lot of the mixy mix and I used black bottles um, and that's of course to help with the degradation of the oils. I don't want them in sunlight. Um, please don't keep these in a hot area. Um, again, there's a lot of plant oils in here and they do degrade over time. So um, I'm weighing out each of these bottles and I don't want to overfill them because you can't see when you overfill. So I use those, that little plastic cone cup thing there to help fill my bottles so that I don't spill. Um, but this is my first batch. And at this moment I realized I had the camera turned the wrong way the whole time and I apologize. So I fixed the camera and now I'm just getting these bottles ready to be filled and I'm using this spout container to help me fill these bottles. And that spout container just helped me so that I don't make a big, big mess. Sorry, I just need a little drink there, but I use those little paper cup funnels and cut off the tip. And you know, I just throw it out. I don't have to wash dish, so many dishes and it's paper. 
and those are mostly plant oils so I figure I'm doing okay really sorry guys I have this cold and I keep coughing and it's driving me absolutely bananas and I know I'll get through it but that's why my voice is a little shaky and raspy and it's just not fun anyway so I'm spraying here um, some alcohol and a paper towel and just cleaning the edges before I put my pumps and I was gonna use a different topper on these containers now I did use that paper funnel um, spout or paper thingy to help fill my bottle so I don't have a lot of oil on there but sometimes you get a drip or two and so I'm just making sure they're cleaned off really good and um, I just use that in that spritzer bottle there's alcohol and so I just am you know double checking making sure everything's nice and clean so on these bottles the pumps were a little bit long and so I had to um, trim the tip and so basically I'm just using some um, shears to trim the tip and I cut these at an angle um, just like they come uh, but I had to trim them to make them fit so I just kind of wanted to explain how to use this body elixir um, basically um, it's a combination of lightweight oils that are silky and fast absorbing and uh, they feel smooth to the skin they're meant to soothe protect and nourish they're to be used on wet skin directly after a bath or shower and they're just an added treatment of oil and you can follow with body milk or creamy moisturizer after application or you can just use that and after you apply to the wet skin then you towel dry and that's it now you can use on dry skin but it's going to be oily because these are a lot of plant-based oils and so it will be oily so um, it's it's formulated for all skin types um, the attributes are used um, the attributes of each oil are used for calming irritation to protect the skin barrier to help facilitate uh, faster healing com combat dehydration it's high in antioxidants and I basically made it to balance the skin you know and basically I would like it to also restore even skin tone with daily use so here they are finished up um, in the black bottles without the labels and again I use online labels and I'll show you here just in a moment um, those bottles labeled but um, here they are body elixir here's some photos that I have on I found on Canva that I'll be probably using when I um, market this product but these are some fun photos Canva has some amazing photos to use and here is a little marketing that I had done it's a little fast but um, it's what I put on social media and it helps me to market this product so thank you again for joining me this is Bridget Michelle with Remedy Bath House. See you guys next time.